everyone, uh, I'm Ali and today I'm kind of thrilled to walk you through how you would go about using Lilypad. Now this is for both coders and no coders, so stick around, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Lilypad for running all those cool AI and ML jobs that you're seeing all over the place now. So I'm Ali, uh, I am working on the Lilypad team, we've been building out Lilypad for the last six months or so now. So Lilypad creates this kind of decentralized marketplace for compute jobs, so it enables users to leverage the power of distributed computing uh, without the need to manage complex infrastructures. So this platform really represents a significant step towards like this really open and trustless internet uh, and unlocks the next generation of this internet scale models and applications in the Web3 space, enabling kind of better outcomes uh, for this technology as well, which is something we're all trying to do here at Protocol Labs, move towards a more open web. In practice. So with Lilypad, we're aiming to provide a permissionless distributed compute network that kind of enables these uh, internet scale computing jobs uh, and you can do all sorts of cool things with it. Uh, as long as you know how to prompt engineer, you can make pictures like this too. Um, but let's dig into how we're making all this happen firstly. Uh, so Lilypad's live and running already. Um, under the hood, Lilypad combines this off-chain compute implementation details while providing on-chain coordination and verification. So it's built in Go and Solidity and it's currently uh, running on IPC uh, at the moment. So it uses its own ERC20 uh, Lilypad token to pay for services uh, and it's fully EVM compatible. Um, so how do you use it though? Uh, get on with it, Ali. Well, there's three ways you can use Lilypad. You can use it either from the Lilypad CLI, you can use it from smart contracts, or you can use it from the brand new, a recently released Lilypad AI Studio, which is a complete web interface flow. Uh, you don't need to know any coding to be able to use that. We'll get to that in a minute though. Uh, so firstly, demo time. Let's see what we can do with it. Um, I already have Lilypad installed though, so... Uh, best thing to do is just try it out. Uh, and our uh, first and initial, um, actually, Lilypad command is our hello world of the Lilypad, if you will, uh, is actually uh, Cowsay. So I don't know if many of you out there uh, probably have heard of Cowsay. This is like a fun little thing. It's got nothing to do with AI, actually. So this can just run on any CPU. Uh, but basically, it's just a fun little ASCII art character. So I'm going to run it now. Um, uh, um, and I've just got my uh, <laughs> terminal a little bit too large to see things there, but this is actually like some ASCII art of Lilypad. So Lilypad is now running on the network. Basically what it's doing uh, is it is advertising that there is a job on the network. Compute nodes are billing, bidding for that job. Then once the deal is agreed, that's put on a smart contract here. So the deal is agreed. Uh, and then the compute node that agreed to do the job uh, after putting up collateral, um, computes the job and sends the results back to um, the original requester. And there's some parts in there that are check for that job actually getting run. And you can then go ahead and have a look. So this saves to IPFS actually, but we're also saving to local folder as well to make it pretty easy on the CLI. And if we open this up, we get a little, how do you do? So that's the message we put in there. And that's uh, the Lilypad uh, Hello World. Okay, so that's pretty cool, but you probably want to do a little bit more than just write some ASCII art. So how about a stable diffusion? Text to image generation, we're seeing it everywhere. Um, I want to show you how you can use this on uh, Lilypad as well. Now, I uh, had used a prompt earlier to create kind of this futuristic kind of hacker girl uh, in a cafe, uh, and I'm going to kind of create a similar one, uh, except for this one I want to have purple hair, so I've deliberately put the purple hair prompt in here as well. Uh, so let's have a look uh, what happens when I run uh, this one with the prompt here. Uh, so it's going to do the same thing, submit the job. Uh, and uh, sent to compute nodes. Uh, someone is going to accept that deal. Uh, that'll then get uh, run on the network and return to the user. Now I've run this earlier because it does take like a you know 20 seconds or so to run and this is the image I got for it. Pretty awesome right? I really love this image. Uh, there's a video up on the YouTube as well if you want to see uh, more. But So if I did want to use a different seed all I'd have to do as I can see on the kind of thing here is I would um, input that as an input to the CLI as a different random seed and I would get a different image. So for example uh, I did this earlier and I put a different, oh, it looks like this one's finished, awesome. So I put a different seed in for the same prompt, 
earlier for this one and I got uh, this kind of purple haired uh, hacker girl in a futuristic suit. Pretty cool. Uh, all right, what else can we do on uh, Lilypad? Well, how about LLM? I'm sure you've heard of ChatGPT, which is, you know, a large language model. So what about running something like this on Lilypad? Is it possible? And the answer is, of course it is. Uh, so if you wanted to do that, we have an open source model called uh, Mistral 7B um, deployed to uh, Lilypad as well, uh, which you could go ahead and use. Uh, and to do that, you can just put the prompt in here, uh, Lilypad run, Mistral 7B, and give it an actual uh, prompt that you want to know. So what answer do you want at the moment? Here I'm just putting in name 10 Renaissance artists. I don't know, I'm sure you can think of something much more interesting to ask it. Uh, but again, this will uh, submit to this global GPU network. Um, one of the uh, GPUs will take on the job and then the results will be returned. So same thing here, the answer, uh, the returned answer here is saved to IPFS and also returned to uh, the user. Um, and again, I have put up a demo here on um, our YouTube if you wanted to kind of go down the rabbit hole a little bit further on that one. Uh, whoops. Okay. So you can do way more than that as well. You could do things like fine tuning a model. So for example, if you had uh, a bunch of Claude Monet's art and you wanted to create a model that no matter what text prompt you put in, uh, it would come out with an image that looked like a Claude Monet uh, artwork. Uh, you could do that with something like fine tuning. So you could submit say 30 or 40 of Claude Monet's pictures uh, to a fine tuning uh, kind of algorithm. Uh, and it would fine tune an SDXL, a stable diffusion uh, model, to this uh, to Claude Monet's artwork, for example, or say to your uh, technical documentation. Uh, so it would know way more about your technical documentation, but would still have all the benefits of say the uh, foundational LLM model underneath it, as another example. This one's only SDXL fine tuning. Um, and you can then go ahead and run that. So this is pretty cool because you can uh, bring in these images CID from IPFS, train to that model and then run that model that you just trained to on Lilypad. Uh, so try that out at some point. Uh, in fact, this is pretty much exactly how waterlily.ai, for those of you who've seen this before, uh, runs under the hood. So uh, an artist will submit uh, uh, their work and an, a model will be trained specifically on that artist's work. And then a user can come in, pay a small fee uh, to generate a stable diffusion image in that user's artwork. Now, Okay, so uh, we've seen the CLI demo. You can also use um, Lilypad from a smart contract. So you could trigger jobs like I've just shown you directly from a smart contract as well. Now, if you want to do this, uh, the best thing to do is go and have a look at our docs on how to do this. We're going to uh, put some more information in there and I'll put a video up on this soon. Uh, but it is possible to trigger jobs directly from a smart contract or um, you know, from a front end DAP using our smart contract interface as well. Now, now what if you, we don't have the model or the compute job that you wanna run on Lilypad? Well, this is where you can make your own. Now this is kind of an advanced uh, thing to do at the moment. Uh, so if you're a dev that likes a challenge, uh, we would love to see some more uh, modules uh, on Lilypad. Uh, so have a go at making your own module and submitting it uh, kind of to Lilypad for the benefit of everyone. Um, now, what if you're on the other side of the fence here, though? What if you want to run your own node uh, or contribute GPU or CPU in future resources to the network? You can do that as well. Uh, docs for that. Uh, we're also going to be running a calibration uh, test phase and an incentivized test net uh, in 2024. Uh, so check out this uh, kind of bit.ly link if you are a GPU provider and you're interested in, in adding your node to the network. All right, what about the no code demo time that I showed you? Lilypad literally is for everyone and so is AI. You shouldn't need a degree to access state-of-the-art open source models or how to use them for your use cases. Um, so we've actually uh, built out a Lilypad AI Studio, um, which is a web UI. You can see it logging into the app here. So you just sign into your account here with a Gmail or similar, you don't need a wallet. Uh, you can then go ahead and choose one of these modules, and I've just shown you all of these. So Calse, Stable Diffusion, Mistral, which is that LLM model, 
uh, go ahead and choose one of them and ask it directly in the web UI interface what you want to know and you will get the response straight back here. <laughs> this was um, this is a video I made while I was in Istanbul so that one um, just uh, was a bit, bit interesting like a uh, rainbow unicorn in Istanbul Grand Bazaar. <laughs> Uh, so it also could, you can also ask Mistral, you know, some top 10 things to do in Istanbul while you're there and the LLM will uh, give you the answer. Uh, so this is live. You can go to app.lilypad.tech and you can use that immediately. You can, uh, and we'd love to see your creations as well. We'd love to see your prompt engineering. So this is one, uh, one of our users made and we'd love you to join us. Come and uh, contribute to the future of compute. Uh, join us in the Bakhtiar project Slack, uh, bakhtiar-project.slack. Uh, dash slack or you know follow us on twitter at uh, lilypad.tech otherwise i hope you have some fun uh, playing around with ai and ml on lilypad and i uh, look forward to catching up with you again soon thanks